Expelliarmus! Revelio. I've never seen a sword like this. What was that? What do we have here? <laughs> Arresto momentum. Levioso. Descendo. Revelio. Levioso. Hmm. I may have more luck higher up in the keep. Akio. Levioso. Levioso. Accio. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Protego. Superfly. Revelio. I don't like the looks of that encampment. What went on here, I wonder? Leviosa, Accio, Wingardium Leviosa. That's the student who uses magic. Accio, Levioso, Incendio, Rebellion. Such Accio, Levioso, Expelliarmus. Revelio. Not the best place to be called. Uh. 
Second Ringo! Confringo! Glacius! Levioso! Arresto Momentum! Defendo! Glacius! Confringo! Protego! Arresto Momentum! Defendo! Glacius! Depulsor! <laughs> Confringo! Glacius! Confringo! Levioso! Arresto Momentum! Descendo! Defendo! Expelliarmus! Protego! Incendio. Levioso. Expelliarmus. Levioso. Capulso. Confringo. Glacius. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. This looks like trouble. Capulso! Confringo! Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Levioso. Descendo. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Revelio. Descendo. Confringo. Glacius. Arrest the momentum. You've one less follower, Ranrock. Revelio. This castle's hiding all sorts of secrets.
What will we find in here? Revelio. What's that? It's punishment to us all. Arresto Lament. Accio. Confringo. Protego. Name's your art isn't in this at all. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Accio. Revioso. Let's get it. 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 Let's get Alohomora. Revelio. Arresto Momentum. Accio. Revelio. Revelio.
Revelio. Confirm. Revelio. Boiler door. How to open it? Revelio. <laughs> Revelio. Meals I've ever eaten. Akio. Yeah. 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 Confringo! Revelio! Place 
Glacius. That's ready. If only Ranrock were here to see this. Glacius. You won't get away. Revelio. This must be Mr. Oaks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. Revelio. Revelio. I wonder if I can do Glacius! You only have Ranrock to blame. Revelio. Revelio. Hello, Mr. Oaks. Yes, I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a boiler door. I've heard them speak of it. Fortunately, I've already found your wand, Mr. Oaks. Please, pass me my wand. I can't get out of this damn cell without it. It's my last hope. Please. My wand. Oh, thank you, Thank you. Revelio. You did it! Found my wand and wait, you're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's all right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, you're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizardkind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, 
Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ramrock has despised wizard kind, sees us all as cruel. Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ramrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language, it's, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Rebecca. Mr. Oaks was lucky. Hanrock's lot would never have freed him. Revelio. Rebellion. Thank you. 
Revelio.
welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. I must tell you, half of Ogsmead's been by the shop asking about rumours of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? What more can you tell me about the next course? It's just a jaunt from here, south of Oxmead. Beautiful mountain views. The course was designed to test flyer stamina. Some of your classmates mentioned they were headed there, eager to see what Imelda has in store. A bit surprising, considering many of them expressed reticence at the idea of racing against through us all. I hope that won't deter you, and you'll give the course a go. At least think on it. Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Report back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races. Off to the races, then. Revelio. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Glad you came. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat, and I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be, whatever your plans. I, of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wiganworld potion. 
and you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wiganwell potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioner. She's been supplying travelling vendors with Wiganwell potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity, what with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. The ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aiden was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it. Revelio. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Alohomora. Revelio. Mine now, demi guys. See, it was a mistake parting ways with me. Come on in and have a look around. No touching if you have sticky fingers. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by. Revelio. Revelio. Hello there. Ready for a little change in fashion, are we? Revelio. Oh, I told you not to go down that path. Accio. Revelio.
Mind you, don't turn quick. If you're stuck with a Dora Cool Feather, it doesn't half hurt. Finally, I'll have Accio. a Ah, well, not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind. I'll Revelio. Be... Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Cause we don't even have a Mia. Anyway, what are you here for? Moon fur? Derical feathers? Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derical's. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. Most of the suppliers of Thwopper feathers may as well be living in St Mungo's. Not surprising. I suppose, the cry in those things. Oh, but such marvellous feathers. <laughs> Almost... Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words never spoken. Used to carry beasts themselves. Not my fault if they... And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Now, why don't you have... Always best... What do you have for sale? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I don't mind selling things for certain clients. You know where to find me. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Revelio. A castle must have been quite stately in its time. Hogwarts is very lucky they've got. Levioso. I heard something. Descender. Defender. Arresto momentum. Levioso. Descend for David. Levioso. Defender. Uh, I never. Arrest the momentum. Descender. Uh. Revelio. Uh. Revelio. Revelio.
Glacius! Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Revelio! Revelio. <laughs> Professor Howen will never believe this. Revelio. Revelio. Ah, Upper Hogsfield. Now where to find this is bottle? Revelio. Aloha Mora. Revelio. Revelio. Aloha Mora. Revelio. Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disap- Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolph Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother Bardolph, only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. 
I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be in the shop if you'd like to speak with her. You have my thanks. Protego! Hello, Miss. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your wig and mob. And. I'm... Oh. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Sura. Sorona said she lived. I can't talented group. Do you remember anything? Oh, I. Thank you, Miss. Revelio. Revelio. Confringo. Arrest the momentum. 